Hello and welcome to another chapter in Urban Video Series. This one is about the changes regarding naming and data type standards implementation in CA Urban Data Modeler R9. With version 9 of CA Urban Data Modeler, there has been a change in how naming and data type standards are associated and used in a model. This presentation is to explain those changes and how will it impact conversion from the older versions. We will also discuss some of the advantages of this change. In the previous versions of Erwin, naming and data type standards were enforced via NSM and DSM, which were separate executable files. These are now part of a model and have been replaced with naming and data type standards, objects and options. The new menu for naming and data type standards can be accessed from Model Explorer. We start off with clarifying naming standards first but basically the changes in data type standards are on the same lines. Since these are now part of a model, the metadata has also been changed accordingly to accommodate these changes. Since naming standards is now part of a model, their options are also part of the naming standards objects. You create a new naming standards object from the naming standards menu in Model Explorer. It will have the same naming structure to qualify naming options such as class, prime, modifiers and naming standards glossary word to add or import the words. Please note that only the location has changed. The fundamental functionality remains the same. You can now create the naming standards object simply by right mouse clicking on the naming standards in Model Explorer. Click on new to create a new naming standards object. Right mouse click on the object created to go to its properties. The naming standards option editor appears which has the same functionality as before. Once saved, these options will become part of the model. Properties editor allows you to add the same properties as have been available in the previous versions. The main change, you can now add more than one naming standards object with their distinct options. However, only one can be active at any one time. Just as before, in the logical tab you can define whether the words in the glossary are prime, modifier 1, modifier 2 and class. Same for the physical side in the physical tab. Glossary tab is where you actually add the words. You click on the new tab to add a new word or use the import button to import from a NSM file. Once again, you have the same functionality as before. As already mentioned, the functionality has not changed. Selecting model naming options under actions will take you to these options where you can set the familiar settings of macros, special characters, remove vowels and suffix and prefix options as before. So now you know the change. Let us look into how it impacts during conversion of models from an earlier version. Since naming standards are now part of a model, this change will have some impact during converting or upgrading the models from the older versions. NSM and DSM files will now need to be brought in or linked as naming standards objects in the models. You can do so a couple of ways. One is to create a naming standards option in a new model and import the NSM file from the earlier version. Another way is to create a template in R9 set up the naming standards in that template and then bind the template to a new or converted models. To import a NSM file from a previous version, you can follow the same steps as we mentioned earlier. Right mouse click on the naming standards in Model Explorer, create a new naming standards object or select an existing naming standards object and under properties, open the naming standards options editor to initiate the import. This is how the menu looks. In the Naming Standards Editor, click on Import Other icon to initiate the import from an NSM file. Once the NSM file is imported, it will show up as a Naming Standards object with the options as set in the NSM file. You can import more than one, but only one at a time. You can also use any one of the available Naming Standards object by checking the Is Active box. You can also enforce naming standards by binding the current model as a target to an active model template which will be the source model. You can do it by creating an active model template with one or multiple naming objects as desired and then linking them to as many models as you like. Using an active model template allows you to maintain your naming standards and glossy etc. just in one place 
which you can then synchronize with the associated models either manually or automatically during loading of the target model. This is how the menu looks. Once you have an active model template, you can bind it to the current model. You can do so by selecting Bind Template from File, Model Templates menu. Once the template model is loaded, you get these selections. Bind Model Template allows you to either bind the entire contents of the model, which is a choice if you want to bind more than just naming standards options. However, if the purpose is just to synchronize the naming standards options, run the template wizard. For the purposes of this, we select the second option. In Model Template Synchronization Wizard, you can make your selections about what you would like to bind. The selections include the Meta Model, Model, and Settings. In Meta Model, you can select the class of objects that you would like to bind. Click on Edit Filter to get the editor to make the selections. For the purposes of this presentation, we have selected just the options related to the naming standards so it will import just the naming standards, objects and options. The model tab displays the available objects based on the selections made in the meta model tab. You can also select rows in this menu and select synchronize, defer or ignore them as desired. You can also select restore to set the values to the default values. That is the values present when the wizard was open. These options are applied for the rows selected. The Settings tab has a checkbox to block synchronization of root properties on the model. For example, model name, author, etc. This is helpful if you simply want to bring in the objects and properties, but not model properties. Finally, select Finish to complete this process. Once this process is completed, the naming standards object and its options are added to the model and are also bound to the active model template. Once the model is bound to a model template, you can keep the model in sync automatically on model load by selecting the option under File, Model Templates. Of course, if you do not want this synchronization to happen automatically, when you load the model, you can also do it manually as desired from the Model Template Synchronization Wizard. You can deselect the checkbox in the earlier option and synchronize it manually as needed. So far, we have focused on the naming standards part, but data type standards have also been changed on the similar lines. Just like the naming standards, there is also a data type standards option in Model Explorer. When you create a data type standards object, by default it is preloaded with the default logical data types. You can add new options and various data type mappings as needed. You can create multiple data type standards objects with their unique options, but you can apply only You can also create new mappings in the data type standards editor. Simply click on the icon for new. That will create a new mapping and you can then click on edit to define your mapping. Once again, the functionality is the same as in earlier versions. You can also import the DSM files from the previous versions by clicking the import option in the data type standards editor. Create a new data type standards object and from properties click import. Of course, you need a DSM file to import from. Here is the icon to click for importing the DSM file. Clicking this icon will prompt you for the location of the DSM file which can then be imported. Even though this change does require a one-time conversion effort, it comes with a few advantages. One of those is that these options are now part of a model and there is no need to go looking for separate NSM or DSM files. You can have more than one object created or attached to a model and then use any one at a time as needed. If used with an active model template, you can standardize your models by binding your models to a template and maintaining them in just one place. To sum it up, the naming and data type standards have changed in Erwin R9. Even though the menus have changed, the basic functionality is still the same. This one-time change will offer you the benefit of creating or loading multiple naming and data type objects with their distinct options. You can apply any one of them at a time. Also, these options are now part of the model, so no need to think about including them from an external location. Additionally, you can also bind them to a model template and keep them in sync either manually or automatically on model load. 
We hope that this presentation has clarified this change and also hope you will take advantage of the enhanced functionality of naming and data type standards. Thank you.